Hello, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. There are a lot of great questions that are posed in the Bible. And of course, the Bible provides answers to all those questions. One of the most important questions that has ever been asked was asked by Jesus Christ himself. If you go to Luke 9.20, it says, he, referring to Jesus, he said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? Whom say ye that I am? He asked his apostles that because they had traveled around the countryside and they, they heard uh, a lot of people talking about Jesus and when they came back to report to Jesus, he asked them, What are they saying about me? Who do they say that I am? And the apostles said, Well, they say you're a great prophet, or you're that prophet that's predicted. But Jesus then asked them, Okay, that's what they say. But what do you say? Who do you say that I am? And that's an important question that you must answer and you must get the correct answer because your future state and eternity depends on it so let's examine some scriptures and try to determine actually who Jesus is and in fact who Jesus himself claimed to be but first let's go to Isaiah 45:21 It says, "Tell ye and bring them near, yea, let them take counsel together, who hath declared this from ancient time, who hath told it from that time? Have not I the Lord, and there is no God else besides me?" a just God and a Savior. There is none beside me. So here we have God stating that not only is he God, but there is no other God. There is no other Savior. There's one God, one Savior. God is the Savior. So that's the first thing that we have to establish, that only God can save us. Only God is the Savior. Well, I discussed in previous videos that Jesus actually claimed to be that Savior. If you go to John 14, 6, it says, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Here we have Jesus making this great claim that he is the way to heaven, the way to be with God in heaven. He not only says he is the way, he says he's the one way, and there is no other way except through him. Jesus himself is claiming to be the Savior, the one exclusive Savior. But the Bible says only God is the Savior. So is Jesus claiming to be God? Look at John 5 1. It says, Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him, referring to Jesus, because he not only had broken the Sabbath, but said also that God was his Father, making himself equal with God. 
You see, when Jesus claimed that God is his Father, he did not state it in the way that I would say that I am a child of God, or if you are a Christian, you know that you are a child of God because of the fact that you are born again through faith in Jesus Christ as your Savior. You are born again as a new creature, a child of God. But we become a child of God through adoption. The Bible says that we are adopted. We become a child of God, but we are not God. Jesus Christ stated that God is his Father, and the Jews clearly understood that he meant more than he was just an adopted child of God. He was claiming to be God, he was equal to God himself. It says, but said that also that God was his Father, making himself equal with God. Well, Let's, let's look at Philippians 2.6. It says, Who, referring to Jesus, Who, being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God. So, it says here that Jesus did not consider robbery. He, he was not, in other words, he was not overstating the case. He was not making a claim that he did, was not entitled to make. That he, in fact, is equal with God. Another bold claim. Jesus said that he's the way, the one and only way to heaven. Jesus said that he is equal equal, the Son of God being equal to God. I had a Muslim once come up to me and said, God can't have a son. And I said, I said, sir, do you have any children? He said, yes, I have three children. Do you have a son? Yes, I have a son. So, in other words, you can have a son but God can't have a son. You're saying you are you saying you're greater than God? You can do something that God can't do. God can have a son. If you can have a son, God can do it too. <laughs> but the fact is that religions of the world do not understand, do not believe correctly who Jesus is. Muslims don't believe Jesus is the Son of God. They don't believe he's God in the flesh. Muslims believe Jesus is merely a prophet. Jehovah Witnesses don't believe Jesus is God in the flesh. They believe he is an angel. In fact, they believe he's Michael the Archangel. Mormons don't believe that Jesus Christ is God Almighty. They believe that he is just one of many gods because they are polytheists they believe in millions and billions of gods they even believe that they'll become a god themselves someday a god of their own planet except the women they can't become gods that's what the Mormons believe so and uh, there are, are people that say well Jesus was a great prophet he was a great miracle worker he was he was a great teacher, great religious leader, but he's not God. Well, as I discussed in a previous video, Jesus didn't leave you that option. He claimed to be the Savior, the one and only way to be saved. He claimed to be equal to the Father. He claimed to be God. So you have to decide. Did Jesus lie about that? If he lied then he's certainly not to be respected and admired as a great moral teacher. Was he just insane? Like like people today who think they're Napoleon or something? You know, did, did he think he was God but he was just insane? No. Because he was the greatest 
teacher for moral principles and psychological mental health in history. He certainly was not insane. And the other option is, was he telling the truth? So this is what you've got to decide. Who is Jesus Christ? Is he who he claimed to be? So look next at John 14, 9. He says, Jesus speaking, he said, He that has seen me hath seen the Father. Jesus says, if you've seen me, you have seen the Father. You have seen God, if you've seen me, because I am God. And if we look at John 10, 30, 31, Jesus speaking again, he says, I and my Father are one. Now, these last two verses, the oneness doctrine, uh, they love these verses because they say, you see, Jesus says, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. So they, they claim that Jesus is claiming that he is the Father. And they, in, in this verse it says, I and my Father are one. Hence, the oneness belief that Jesus is the Father. Well, I'm not a, a believer in the oneness. I don't believe that God is one God who just simply... Um, appears in three different forms. Sometimes as the Father, sometimes as the Son, sometimes as the Holy Spirit. Uh, because they in the Bible you see too many examples of the three persons interacting at the same time. So these are three separate persons, yet one God. That's why I am Trinitarian. But that's really not what this video is about here. I just want you to understand that Jesus is claiming to be God here. He says, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. He says, I and my Father are one. Now that is one in substance. It's not one in agreement, like we're of one mind and we're, we're, we have the same ideas and philosophies and beliefs. Some people say, well, that just means that we're, they're one, they agree as one, but no, it's one in substance. Jesus Christ is the substance of God. And so he says, I and my Father are one. The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy. And because thou, being a man, makest thyself God. You see, the Jews were going to stone him because they understood that when he said that God is his Father and when he said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father and when he said, I and my Father are one they knew what he was claiming. They knew he was claiming to be equal with God. They knew that he was actually claiming to be God himself. It says, being a man, you makest thyself God. So there you have it. Jesus claimed to be God. Will you believe him? Or will you call him a liar or a lunatic? Well, you better believe him. Because in John 8.24, it says, If ye believe not that I am he, you shall die in your sins. If ye believe not that I am he, ye will die in your sins. Jesus is saying, if you don't believe that I am who I claim to be, the Son of God, God of the flesh, the Savior, the only way to be saved, God who saves. That's In fact, that's what his name means. God saves. Jesus Christ is that God who saves. So, answer the question. 
Jesus wants you to answer this question. Jesus says, who do you say that I am? Who do you say Jesus is? I'll tell you who he is. Jesus is, Christ is God, the Savior. Amen.